Oh, good day everyone. Back out on another trip. Uh, this time we're going up into the Great Western Woodlands region of Western Australia. Uh, we're staying in a couple of different campsites for the first couple of nights on the Holland Track. I'm not actually doing the Holland Track because unfortunately I don't have my car with me. I had to get another vehicle, a loan vehicle. So I didn't want to take it down the uh, Holland Track. But we're still staying on a couple of the campgrounds and from there we're going to go up through into uh, to Kulgari and then from Kulgari we're going up into the Great Western Woodlands north of Kulgari up to Mount Elvia and then into the northern Wheatbelt. Uh, currently at the moment we just stopped at a place just on the Hyde and Norseman Road called The Breakaways where we're having morning tea. <sighs> the weather at the moment is a bit overcast and a bit gloomy, the wind is bitterly cold but when the sun's out it's absolutely lovely and shining. Um, so far the trip's been reasonably good. I haven't done much photography and all that because we've been busy doing other stuff. Uh, and this is my first chance and uh, what I'll do now is I'll take you around and give you a quick look at what the, the breakaways look like. It's just absolutely stunning. Bird life around here is amazing and the colour of the rocks and that is just, just brilliant. So come along, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is uh, the breakaways. Absolutely magnificent colour in those rocks. Absolutely stunning. All different colours. They extend for quite some distance, so we're just in a small area of it. And uh, just having a look around, my mate and, and my wife and my mate's wife are all off taking photos and having a look around and exploring the country. It's a great little spot to camp. You could camp here for a couple of days if you'd like. If you did, you probably wouldn't get to see everything because there's just so much around here to see. Uh, been on the road now a couple of days, just finished in the Holland Track and we're now stopped at Cunnanulling which is north of Coolgardie on the Coolgardie North Road. Uh, this used to be an old hotel, a uh, bit of a relic now, but very interesting to come and look at. Go around the other side and have a look. A beautiful old building. Unfortunately, people have got in there and graffitied it and trashed it a bit. They've put a, a fence around it, but the people have kicked the fence down and gone inside. Weather's a little bit uh, gloomy today. It has been the whole trip, but it's not too bad. At least it's not cold. A bit windy, but not cold. Okay guys, this is our uh, setup. We're at Rolls Lagoon now. Last time I spoke to you, we are at Cunnanulling. We made our way to Rolls Lagoon, set up. The weather's a bit inclement, but it's absolutely a wonderful spot to come camping. We'll zoom around and we'll see everyone sitting around where we're gonna have our fire tonight. <laughs> everyone there sitting around the fireplace, getting ready for a few drinks and a few bickies and a few other snacks. Yeah, this is a uh, Rolls Lagoon. I've just walked down from our campsite, taking in the lagoon. As you can see, it looks very full. I've had their. Uh, most rain in something like 50 odd years in this area. In fact, the whole of Western Australia has had one of its wettest winters on record. And a lot of places that have been dry are now full of water. Apparently last year, Rolls Lagoon, you could literally walk all the way across it because it was empty. But now it's just absolutely wonderful. It's full. There's quite a few water birds around the place. It's 
just simply stunning country. Okay guys, we've uh, left Rolls Lagoon and we're making our way, we've just come up through Davie Hurst and we're on our way to the Everson Menzies Road. We've just stopped on the side of the road here at a historic town site of uh, Mullawine, I think it is. Not a lot of it left now. There's some old mine, mining sites and things like that here. Quite interesting. The weather at the moment is absolutely stunning and quite, quite, quite good. And the, and quite a bit of bird life going on around. We'll just walk down and have a look and see what we can see further down. We've just uh, walked from the road, we've come down, there's an old mine here. Quite a spectacular view looking down into it. Just looking down around from the other side. Good morning everyone. Well it's Wednesday morning, we're just about all the way through our trip now. Uh, we've just stopped at the Mount Elby Homestead. Uh, we came in late yesterday afternoon. Uh, by the time we got set up and all that, it was time to have a couple of drinks and relax and have dinner. So I didn't do much filming with this. But I did get the drone up, which I'll put uh, some image, uh, drone footage up shortly. And I took some stills images, so I'll put them up as well in a minute. But we'll just have a quick look around the Mount Elby Homestead. Okay, this is the old homestead. Not much left of it, it's a, it's a bit ramshackle, but it uh, provides a shelter if you need it. Uh, toilet or thunderbox as they used to call it in the day. Come around to the, the yard. There's a couple of picnic tables and a fire pit here if you want to set up and use them, you're quite welcome to. But make sure you clean up after yourself. And, uh, it's the outside of the house from another angle. And this is what the back entrance would have been. Just gonna have a quick look inside. There's not much inside. This would have been the old bedroom. There's still a couple of old beds in there. This is what's left of the old kitchen. Some people have left some stuff behind. And then into the old lounge room. All right, so basically that's it. Not much of a, it's not a very big house. I'm going to walk outside and I'll speak to you next whenever we get to our next location. Enjoy.
Hey guys, we're now at uh, the old Mount Jackson homestead. This old ruin's slowly falling down. Fantastic place to come and visit and a good part of our history, but unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be with us for much longer. We'll go inside and have a look and uh, I'll show you around. It's a really sad sight to see folks. Some fool has come in and absolutely trashed this, this place. This cabinet used to be in really nice nick with all the food stuffs and everything in it and someone smashed it and pulled it all to bits, broken all the glass. There's all smashed glass down there, all the way along the bench. It's not animals as in kangaroos or anything like that, it's animals as in pigs who can't look after the place. Absolute fools. And this is it looking from the other side. Slowly deteriorating, it's a sad sight to see. Magnificent place to come and visit, but such a sad sight to see. Okay, another shot of it. Oh, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this view of the old Mount Jackson homestead. The way it's been deteriorating, I don't know if it's gonna be here much longer. Anyway, we're about to head off now to Currajong Well, so I'll catch you there. Bye.